Okay, a couple of practices I would like to recommend or bring in here in, in this situation what, you know, the coronavirus and the whole epidemic, this difficult situation we all are dealing or we're going through. As we already being advised about keeping a little bit of distance and not allowing too much of touch or contact with, with people or situations where we don't have to be. And yeah, I guess changing our travel habit, washing our hands, keeping things a good clean, a hygienic sort of maintain, maintenance around your house, your places, things you touch, and washing our hands as frequently as we can. But along with all these precautionary things, there are a few other things that we can bring in, in our day-to-day -day practice, day-to-day -day life to really have a stronger healthy our physical body system our mind system our respiration as well as our our mental attitude and mental perspective couple of things really here we can have beginning with our mental attitude itself keeping positive having that positive image around us so we're not accepting or we're not allowing or we're not causing the fear or that uncertainty, the anxiety in, in our mind that makes us more susceptible or, or makes us weaker, not just mentally, but also physically, emotionally, that brings our body immunity down. So keeping ourselves mentally positive and strong and, and preparing to prevent the situations and, and the infection, the problems that that brings or that we might face, we might follow through it. A very healthy, a very nutritional balanced diet. I can really recommend adding lots of sprouts in, in your day-to-day -day food. Plenty of fresh vegetables and fruits can really help to boost your immunity some fresh juices, lots of citrus fruits are really, really great for our body immunity. And even maybe adding some, some natural, some healthy dietary or the, the vitamin supplements to keep your body, if you, especially if you struggle with any health issues, will definitely or certainly help. Finding some time, a good sort of 10-15 minutes, if you can't do hour, hour and a half, some sort of physical exercise, that can be your hot yoga practice, maybe go for a nice walk, get some fresh air, or maybe some form of gymnastic. Any form of exercise will really help to improve your spine, improve your digestive system, also improve your breathing, your cardiovascular system. That will also enhance your ability to deal, to cope a little bit better with the health, health situation or the infection that you or we might face. After the exercise, finding some, some deep breathing techniques to really enhance your breathing capacity. As in our tradition, we have a set of hathenas, the practice that really enables you to expand your breathing, your consciousness and enhance the ability to breathe much more deeper or, or complete or properly. Some pranayamas, it can be as simple as our Savitri Rhythm Pranayama to enhance your breathing, enhance the energy flow, the horm hormonal balance and our body immunity or maybe some Sukha Pranayamas, Anuloma Viloma Pranayama or Surya and Chandra Nadi Pranayama can help. A good long deep relaxation or, or yoga nidra, a savasana practice every day will help you to release or let go of any stress, tension or anxiety, worry you might be accumulating or, or holding on into, into your system. And then maybe a 5-10 minute meditation or some sort of positive contemplation looking at our life and, and our opportunities in a positive perspective. To see, see the light through it, not letting yourself to get caught into the darkness. Opening, opening our hearts, opening our, our life and really doing everything we can do to, to keep ourselves positive, keep ourselves strong and, and healthy. 
be bring bring or try to inculcate try to develop that attitude of non possessiveness or non accumulation so don't need to panic for 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 what's going to happen in in two weeks or three week time really live your life in the moment here and now and you know whatever we're going to go through we all will go through that situation that time together as as a unit as a family as as a society so let's not cause panic let's not cause that tension that 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 worry that fear that itself is causing many health issues that we we don't need we don't need especially in in this situation so just keeping keeping that that attitude of living living our life positively living our life to the best just to remind again couple of things we're trying to do keep positive keep smiling look for the positive perspective the best in in what we can do in each and every situation daily physical exercise a nice walk fresh air drinking lots of water maybe some fresh juices if you can plenty of fruits and vegetables and if you can include some sprouts in your day to day diet diet sprouted mooms or any sort of beans or any seeds you can really find find in in your house that will help to boost your body immunity and 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 really give you all sorts of enzymes and all sorts of vitamins and and the the catalytic sort of food ingredients you need to for a better digestion for better health and well-being deep breathing some pranayama relaxation and and lots of positive vibes send send your love send your blessings and that that positive attitude to everyone let's just keep living keep growing together om shanti 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 love and peace om